Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Today is National Sunscreen Day, so guess what today's topic is all about. We're talking sunscreens and it is one of my favorite things to talk about because I actually believe that if there is one thing that we can be doing for our skin, it's wearing sunscreen. And people ask me, what's the one thing you can't live without? It is sunscreen. So I guess this video is becoming a tradition because I did the same video exactly to the day last year with my favorite sunscreens of 2021. So I will put a card up here and I will also do a link to that video below if you want to go check it out because I do go through a bit more detail about mineral versus chemical sunscreen and some of the things to look at and all that so I'm not going to go into that. So what we're going to do today is walk through some of the new sunscreens that I was experimenting with and there are some real winners and of course there were some losers too. So general disclaimer here, I've only experimented with sunscreens that suit me and my mature skin. So I'm looking for products that give sort of a healthy, dewy, glowy sort of finish because that's what I need as I age. So if you're looking for mattifying products, these aren't going to be the ones for you. But if you're interested in, in that sort of light reflecting or dewy, hydrating sort of situation, then keep watching. Okay, so I do have a combination of both mineral and chemical sunscreens here. Personally, I think chemical sunscreens get a bad rap, and I know that they do have ingredients that can be irritating to skin, but they don't irritate mine, and particularly the ones that I have here, I think are hydrating, and they have a lot of other good ingredients that are packed into it. So for me, I use a mixture of both every single day. I even use products that contain mineral and chemical together. So there's a bit of a mix here. So if you only like to use one or the other, you should be covered here. I got really lucky here because through PR, I received a package of Korean sunscreens. And these are ones that I probably might not have been introduced to if I hadn't been so kindly sent them. Oh my gosh, where have these been all my life? I find them to be highly effective and I find them to be very cost effective. So I have a couple here that I do believe are going to hit holy grail status. So Let's get stuck in. First, we're gonna start with mineral sunscreens and there are two in the mix. The first is by a brand, Anessa, which is actually owned by Shiseido. This is a Korean brand. Now, it is called the Perfect UV Sunscreen Skincare Milk 50 PA++++, 32 euros for 60 mils. Now, I really liked the consistency on this. Um, I found that it was really easy to apply, but it's taking my sunscreen off. I mean, it's taking my, my skincare off. It's coming off all over. I don't know if you can see it. Like all my skincare has come off. And that skincare has been on there for probably 15, 20 minutes. Like it's had a really good time to settle and to sink into my skin and it has peeled everywhere. I can see all, all the stuff coming off. So I'm not gonna have to go wash my face again, reapply all my skincare again and use a different sunscreen. It's a shame because it does have a little bit of that smell. It feels beautiful going on. It's a little bit there's a little bit about white cast, but I think it's going to dissipate. But look, you can just see this stuff coming off all over. That's a no. Okay, it was a really nice sunscreen. It's just not going to work for me. However, I think this would be a great product for those who don't actually do a lot of skincare. So I do believe this is going to be going into Gary's golf bag. So he golfs every Saturday, and if I can get him to wear <laughs> sunscreen, even when the sun is not shining, it's been a success. So I think he'll like this. I think this might actually be good for teenagers as well. So something to consider there, that it's not a wash entirely, it's just not gonna suit me and my very long and laborious skincare routine. Okay, next up is by Color Science. This is the Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield SPF 50 PA++++. Now, apparently it comes in three colors. I didn't know that. I got it in sort of the classic color and it retails for 29 pounds for 55 mils. Now, it goes on a little bit on the pinky side, but it settles very well. It also protects, protects against HEV blue light and infrared radiation. It contains niacinamide and antioxidants. I love this sunscreen. And I discovered this sort of in the fall of last year, so it didn't make the summer cut and I have used it religiously ever since. It is a beautiful sunscreen. And I think it really would be suitable for the fellas with the beards. There is a guy over on Instagram, Skincare Steve, that I follow all the time. And this is his favorite sunscreen only because it doesn't get into the beard and get gross and yucky. So for the dudes, this could be a really good solution. Okay, so next we're looking at the chemical sunscreens and we're starting off with a Korean brand. This one is called Beauty of Joseon. It is their Relief Sun Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 PA++++ fantastic protection. 
It only retails for 12 euros for 50 mils. Hallelujah. It is super lightweight. It is easy to apply and it does leave a bit of a sheen. So I personally want that. That's what I'm going for. Look at the finish on that. And it is flawless under makeup, like flawless. Like this is a beautiful, beautiful product. So next up is Naked Sunday's Clear Glow Radiant Sun Serum SPF 50. It is an invisible antioxidant sunscreen and it's all about the glow. It has squalane, it has jojoba oils. Hmm, but what a bummer. It is super lightweight. It does feel like an oil, like a light oil. It's kind of hard to explain. So it's not like a heavy, greasy oil. It's, that's why it's an oil. So it does feel greasy to it, but it's a very light feel to it. And I'm, I'm actually really bummed because I'd seen some folks on Instagram talking about this and how much it was loved. But I'm telling you, I have just taken off all my skincare. It's all pilling underneath. So now I'm going to have to take all this off and do my skincare again. Mary's not very happy. So that, my friends, is a total bust. Boy, Gary's going to be getting a lot of really good product. Gary, this is actually really, really nice. It feels really nice on the skin. It's very hydrating, but all of my stuff is just peeling all over my face. Mmm. Bummer. Okay, next up is another Korean product. It's Isentree's Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel SPF 50 PA++++. It is only 16 euros for 50 mils. So this contains hyaluronic acid. It also has niacinamide. It is very lightweight. It is kind of a milky consistency and it just sinks in nicely. It kind of has a cooling effect to it, which was surprising. And it leaves that light sheen. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. Okay, next up is by Beauty Pie. It's their Feather Light UVA UVB SPF 50. And this retails for 12.50 uh, for 50 mils if you are a member. And it's a lovely product to use. It's, it's lightweight, it goes on easily, and I think it leaves a really nice finish. The downside is it did not play well with makeup. So this is something that I use on the days when I'm not wearing makeup, which is about half the time. And I will use it every day on my neck and my chest because I think it's a really great value and gives good protection. Now we're going to have a look at La Roche-Posay. This is the Hyalu B5 Aqua Gel. It's 40 euros for 50 mils. And if you don't like to wear sunscreen, this is for you. It is clear. It is super, super lightweight and it disappears. Like you don't feel this. Like I probably apply even more than I have to because it's just easy and I keep putting it on. The finish is superb. The only downside to this is it's only an SPF 30 and I like to wear a 50. Now in the winter, this is fantastic, but you know, for those who don't like to wear SPF, this is a good place to start if you're looking for a daily product. It is worth the money. It is a fantastic product. La Roche-Posay, please come out with an SPF 50. I'll be your best friend. It's really, really good. Our last one is a combo chemical and mineral. It is by Purito, which is an, uh, a Korean brand. It is the daily go-to sunscreen broad spectrum 50 plus plus plus. 17 euros for 60 mils, which is a good healthy amount. It is totally unscented. It sinks in beautifully and it leaves no finish whatsoever, no white cast. It's weightless and it's another one that I absolutely love. Okay, so that's it for the testing side of things, which I've done over the last couple of months. Um, but I want to talk about something that's really important and that's the sort of on the go. It's the reapplication of sunscreen during the day. Now, these sort of products that I put on in the morning, I do not put them on again later, even if the sun is shining. I don't like to put the goopy stuff over makeup if I'm wearing makeup. So I need some other solutions. And I talked about these in my last videos and I'm still using them and I'm still loving them. The first are powders and I have two that I use. One is by Color Science and it's an SPF 50. And these are brush on little guys. You shake them and you just swirl it on over your makeup and off you go. And I find them convenient. They stay in my handbag. You can use them anytime and it doesn't muck up your makeup. And in fact, sometimes it's nice to kind of, you know, get that little powdery effect if you're getting a little greasy throughout the day. So there's an, a Color Science, which is on the pricier side. I think it's about 50 quid. Um, but there's also Dermy E Essentials. They do one at an SPF 30. And I think it runs around 20 or just under 20. So it's a more affordable version. However, it only has an SPF 30. But gosh, I'd rather you do something rather than nothing. So if you're looking for on the go and you like a little bit of powder. These are just such a great solution. Now another option, uh, which I only just discovered and started using very recently, is a spray. Now this one's by La Roche-Posay. It's a part of their Anthelios range and it's an SPF 50. And I'm actually using this a lot because you take this off, 
you just spray it over your face and you go. So it doesn't actually muck up anything that you've already got on your face. It's super convenient and I just find it really easy to use. Now it does have a little bit of that smell and you want to hold your breath when you <laughs> when you put it on, but all in all, I think it's a great product. Then there's a whole new category that I'm just kind of getting into right now and that is the sticks, these little guys. This was also sent to me in PR. So for me, I won't be applying these over makeup. Again, I think it's gonna drag and I think it's gonna move everything around. So I'm not gonna use it for that. But on those days when I'm not wearing makeup, which again is half the time, like imagine you're sitting out, you know, having a beer on the back garden and you need to top up. This is another really good way to do it. This one is by Thank You Farmer and it's an SPF 50. And it is really quite light and quite hydrating. And it feels really, really nice on the skin. So this is something that I'm gonna be using a lot more over the going to say spring's pretty much over now <laughs> over the summer and it's another great one for the handbag so now we're going to talk about what have been the holy grails and what might become future holy grails now in my video last year there are two that still remain that i use regularly and these are the ones the first one is the l to md it is the uv clear broad spectrum spf 46 tinted this is probably the holy grail if i can only have one for the rest of my life this would be it it's moisturizing, it, it has a tint to it that matches my skin tone perfectly, it disappears, it gives me a little glowiness. I love this to death and I will never not have it in the medicine cabinet. And this one by Dermatology is one that I was introduced last year. It's the Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. And I was just in the States last week, so I picked up two more of these because they're, they're really inexpensive. They're like 25 bucks, dollars, but I don't like to ship them overseas. So when I go home, I pick up more. And it can actually be used as a moisturizer for those that now that my skin is so well hydrated and we're coming into summer, I may actually replace a moisturizer with this because it's got a lot of really good skin loving ingredients. So this one has already hit that holy grail status because again, I've been using this since last fall and these three are the ones that sit in my medicine cabinet and I just alternate between them. Don't even know exactly why I pick which ones I do which days, but that's the way it goes. And I think we have some new ones here that I will definitely re be repurchasing. And for one, it's the beauty of Joseon. I just think this is phenomenal and it is incredibly good and I will be buying more of it. And then it's a toss up because there are a lot of really good ones. The Isn't Tree is beautiful on the skin and the value on these. I mean, I'm shocked at how inexpensive they are for what you get. I mean, I'm shocked. So by the way, I'm going to have links to all of these products down below. So if you want to get them for yourself, I, I cannot recommend them enough. I think this is excellent. And I think if this was a 50, it would be a no brainer. It's good for winter. And if you don't like to wear sunscreen, please go buy this. Please go buy this and at least try it and try to get yourself using it every single day because if the sun is shining, you need sunscreen. I don't even leave my house without a 30 on. I don't sit in my house without a 30 on. Even if I put nothing else on my face at all, I'm gonna put on a sunscreen because the rays come through the windows, they come through the clouds, they will find you. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you found it informative. And I would really like to hear, what sunscreens are you using? Is there anything that I should be adding to my list? Because I will be forever testing sunscreens because it's like all the skincare. It's what I do on this channel. And I love finding those little gems that are just fantastic. And I wanna use every single day because the best sunscreen is the one that you will use every single day every single day. So please put any comments, any questions you have down below because I love hearing from you and I hope I will see you at the next video. Bye. What, are you looking at something? No. no? Okay. So I think we've established a tradition. This is this, I keep watching you thinking is something going on.